What is going on, YouTube? It's your favorite YouTuber. Me and my kicks coming at you with another detailed review and on foot of the Nike KD4 Nerf Edition, man. Coming up. Getting into the details of the shoe, the shoe comprises of a plasticky upper. I want to say it's similar to foam positive material, but not as um, thick or heavy. Um, as you can see, the shoe has a multitude of colors. You got that purple, then it goes into that purple with that green behind it. Then you got the Nike check in that infrared color. Then it got a little bit of gray back here. Towards the midsole, you got the um, you know black midsole. Then you got the you know infrared and um, lime green poking out there. And as you get towards the back of the shoe, it says KD. And on the medial side of the shoe, you got this Nike check in infrared. And as you see, it's different than the lateral side of the shoe. And before I get into the lacing system of the shoe, I just want to talk about a few details that I saw, you know, just looking at the shoe. Towards the back right here, it says Big Chucky. And a um, subscriber told me that Big Chucky was somebody that um, KD looked up to. He, he he passed away, unfortunately, so RIP to him. But that's why they put him on the back of these shoes. Also, as you can see on the outsole, um, it got like thunderbolt patterns because he played for the um, because he played for the Oklahoma City Thunder. So that's a nice touch on the instep right here. It says stay focused. I don't know if the camera is picking that up 100%. But the nice little details are a nice touch when it comes to this shoe. Getting towards the lacing system of the shoe, just your standard Nike KD4 lacing. You got the Nike check and lime right here. It comes with a four foot strap, and you know with the four foot strap you can like make it tighter or looser depending on your foot. Getting towards the top of the tongue. It says Nerf right here, and on the other shoe, it has KD35, so you got Nerf, and you got the KD35, which is a nice touch. And just to get into the origin of the shoe, the reason why they call these the Nerf KD4s is because Hasbro reached out to Nike, and they wanted to do a collaboration, so they chose the um, KD4s. I don't know if, like, KD has an affinity to, like, Nerf or anything, but I guess Hasbro just chose this shoe, and that's how the shoe became um, a part of the collection. Um, as you can see, as far as the uh, forefoot strap go, it says adaptive fit. The reason why it says that is because you can strap it tighter or looser depending on your foot style. And as far as laces go, they give you purple laces with purple tips. And on the insole of the shoe, the insole design has that graffiti splat type um, design, which is pretty nice. So I like that little aspect of the shoe. And as you can see on the insole, it's all black and it has the Nike check and infrared. But overall, man, definitely a great shoe. Definitely glad I was able to get these in the collection. As far as sizing goes with this shoe, I would suggest going an entire size up. If you have a fat or a wide foot, main reason being is because this four foot strap, you know, constricts your foot against the shoe. Also, KDs are just narrow in general. So if you want to wear the shoe as it's intended, I would say go an entire size up. If you have a normal foot, go a half size up. If you have a narrow foot, you can definitely go true to size in these shoes. These shoes retail at $150, which is kind of crazy because like the, the KD4 Galaxies was like $130. I want to say the Weatherman's was $140. I don't know why they going up on prices every $10 on, on these KD4s. But anyways, how I came across my pair was I kind of learned my lesson when it came to KD4s because I paid resale on the Galaxies. And I ain't gonna lie, the Galaxy, the Galaxy was a little limited and also it was a little bit more hype on them. So, you know, I feel justified in paying resale for the Galaxies. When the Weathermans came out, I paid resale as well, but resale dipped down right after I bought them. So I, if I'd have waited, I could have got the shoes for retail. So that was my fault, you know, I took that L. But now you ain't gonna get me on these KD4 nerfs. I learned my lesson. I know that I could be able to get these for retail because you know, people don't really rock with um, Nike basketball shoes no more. I, I kind of get it now. I know what it is. It is what it is. I'm just glad that, hey, we can, go in, we can go in the stores and get our shoes. But anyways, this dropped on the Foot Locker app. And, you know, I did my reservation. I didn't put any, like, head starts or nothing like that on there because I knew that no one was really going to be going for these shoes. Because even though this was a sample um, of the KD4s that came out, I want to say 10 years ago, like the sample pairs of these was going for like two three thousand dollars and like you know people wanted these these were people's grails blah 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 now since they you know at retail you can get them at any store no one wants them no more i don't know why hype does that but it is what it is so i did the reservation one and then i went to the store that i won my reservation at and they had the shoe out just regular like you could just go in the store and anybody could ask for them so that already let me know that like hey 
you know, this shoe, no one wanted them because for me to do a reservation with no head starts and win the shoe and for me to go into the store and the shoe is just on display, like anybody can grab a pair, I already knew that no one wanted these. So I ended up just grabbing my pair. And at the time I did a few studies and got a few Foot Locker gift cards. So I didn't even pay full retail on these. Um, I had uh, like $100 worth in um, study gift cards. So I only paid like 60 bucks for these shoes. And since I paid 60 bucks for these shoes, using the study money, cue the video. Chris Paul, the lob, the jam! Oh, what a monster jam by DeAndre Jordan! Oh, 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 oh. You can't be getting shoes you always wanted for under retail the day it comes out, man. I, I'm lucky that I'm able to do these studies and get the money to, you know, not pay retail for these shoes. But, but you know, honestly, if you want these shoes and you haven't grabbed them yet, you can wait. Please don't pay resale. Um, after the resellers figure that they can't get their price on these, these will go back down to retail, depending on your foot size, like probably 11 and a half and up, you're gonna pay around retail a little bit over, but anything 11 and down, you, you should get these for under retail. Like there is no hype on these shoes at all, which is nice because once again, like 10 years ago, you would have never seen these. These would have been going for $2,000. Now you could barely sell these for retail. It is what it is. I'm glad I was able to walk in the store and just get these shoes. And now here's the review of them. Now, without further ado, here's an on for a look of the Nike KD4 Nerf Edition. Throw that shit cack for me. Run that shit cack for me. Shorty think, cause you gave a little pussy, she gon' get a bag for me. Huh, but her titties looking right, body slim and her ass petite. Huh, but she tatted up and her body looking like a masterpiece. Track the visa or the masterpiece. Send her on the road track for me. Like my money blue, bitches pussy pink. Diving like a pool, wetter than a sink. You could get, look, you could get boom right before you blink. That's worth the blue. Got no time to lick it in the room. 42 to drink. Yeah, huh. and it's only why if I do the drink. Yeah, look, mix the gold label right with the sprinks. Yeah, look, new Louis shoes looking like a baked pair. Yeah, rolling on the wrist, Cardi in the face. Yeah, look, said I'm looking good, come and get a taste, bitch. Hmm, new 750 looking like a space shit. Hmm, told her to keep it real, fuck all the fake shit. Hmm, shorty ride that crazy plus she could take dick. Look, call a brownfield baby. Look, she know she a baddie. Huh, all natural right there. They ain't no BBO fatty. Look, I'm her BDD. Look, a big dick daddy. You ain't got an ex where I'm from, bitch. You know I'm from Sally's. Take a picture, don't tag me. You threw a sub, shoulda at me. We could do it in a, look, we could do it in a backseat. Take you home in a big boy. Baby girl, it's not a taxi. If I back out this, have him running like a track me. For sure. <laughs> as far as the box details go, they give you the original box that came with the promo sample um, version of these shoes, which is pretty nice. They got the KD35 look and that Nerf look. You know, you got the, the purple, green with the, um, you know, infrared box. Um, and also got a little nice little detail right here in the inside. Um, and this is the same type of detail that you got on the promo samples. That's pretty much it. With the promo samples, they also gave you like a, a mini hoop and a Nerf basketball to go with it. They didn't include that in this pack. If they did, they probably would have charged just like $200 as opposed to the $150. So I'm glad they didn't include it. What they should have did is they should have included it and gave us retail price. But you know, Nike ain't never going to do nothing like that. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching this video today. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button if you like this video. Also, comment down below what's your favorite KD4 colorway. It could be the Nerfs, the Aunt Pearls, could be the Galaxies, whatever, man. Just comment that down below and we can chop it up in the comment section. Also, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, what are you doing, man? Hit that subscribe button, takes nothing but a couple seconds, and you'll be notified of when I drop future videos. And lastly, peace.